Hi, I'm Nina Perlov, and today I want to talk a little bit about flute posture. I get a lot of questions about flute posture, and people are often very confused because they hear different things about what is the correct flute posture. So today I'm going to tell you a few things that I believe and teach about proper flute posture. So the first issue is, does a flutist have to play with the flute perfectly parallel to the ground with the flute absolutely straight? And this is something that a lot of flutists hear, especially from their school band directors, that they have to keep their flute perfectly straight. And guess what? I don't think that's true. The reason we often think that the flute needs to be perfectly straight, sometimes it comes from marching band. Because, honestly, it looks a lot better to have a whole row of flutists with everyone with their flutes straight. So if your marching band director tells you that you need to keep your flute perfectly straight, you probably have to do what he or she says so that the group looks good. But when it comes to sound, is that really the best way to play the flute? Now I'm going to tell you a little trick. The flute does not have to be perfectly straight to the ground. What it has to be is at a perfect perpendicular, straight up and down, to the little opening of your lips, right here. So you want to make sure, I'm gonna put my flute down so I can show you. You wanna make sure the flute is straight to your lips. That means if when you play the flute, you keep your head perfectly straight, then yes, the flute will be perfectly straight. Just like this, I'm gonna show you on my Gemeinhart Generations flute with the new Brad Garner head joint. I'm super excited about it. Anyway, back to the lesson. If I keep my head perfectly straight when I play, then the flute will also have to be perfectly straight. However, I don't actually play with my head perfectly straight, and a lot of flutists don't. That's my dog barking. Okay, pretend you didn't hear that. See how my head tilts? I like to call this slight angle of the head the puppy head tilt. Even my dog Piper knows you don't always play the flute with your head perfectly straight. Now, if I kept my flute perfectly straight but my head tilts, see how that looks out of alignment now? And it doesn't sound good at all. So what I need to do is if my head tilts, I need to make sure that the flute stays aligned here, which actually means it's going to drop down a little bit because I tilt my head toward my right shoulder. That already sounds a lot better. So you might need to get a sense of where your head placement is. And that also means that if your band director in marching band insists that your flute be straight parallel to the ground, you better make sure your head also doesn't tilt because otherwise you're going to get a really bad sound. And we want your marching band to sound good, not just look good. Should we play with our two shoulders straight to the audience? So if you're sitting in band, are you having your music stand straight in front of you and playing this way. Now, we all know that sometimes playing in a band or an orchestra, for flutists is a little tricky because we tend to bump into each other and knock them with our flutes. Clarinets, oboes, saxophones, they don't have the same problem. We're the only ones who have this very awkward position. What I'd like you to think about is playing not with your two shoulders straight to the audience, but tilting a little bit at an angle. It's good for playing in a group because then your flute goes between the players and you're not bumping somebody in the head. But there's a more important reason to play this way that has to do with sound. And I'd like you to look at some pictures of one of the greatest flutists of all time, one of my favorite flutists, Jean-Pierre Rampal. Look, first of all, when he plays at how his flute is not parallel to the ground because his head tilts. But then also look at how he aligns his shoulders when he plays. This is what he does and what I think is a wonderful 
little adjustment to posture that can have a big impact on sound. First of all, instead of playing straight, angle yourself so that your left shoulder is forward toward the audience and your right shoulder is pointed back a little bit. So you're actually going to turn your feet to point that way, a little bit sideways. My feet are no longer pointing the audience, they're pointing to the side. And so my left shoulder is now closer to you than my right shoulder. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to tilt my head a little bit toward the audience, toward this shoulder. And I'm going to play that way. So now I'm playing across my shoulder instead of across straight from my chest. You're going to see that it does something to the airflow and it opens up the sound. So this is playing straight. Again. Now I'm going to try tilting my chin toward this left shoulder. Again. through the video camera, I can hear it really well here in this room. So experiment with that and tell me what you think.